Hi, this is Carol from my 2 ds one and this is week two of the Mega, well, I actually, I think it's just the Magnolia March event this year, 2017. I'd like to give you a list of our designers. I'm sorry that it's not been down in my list below, but um, having trouble with my computer and getting that done, and the reason is we found out they put in, when we got the new computer, they put in the wrong email address so nothing's working correctly they spelled my name cor incorrectly so that's why it's not working but here is a list if you want to write these down Sunday is Jean Rob and Sherry Wolf Monday Cindy Vasquez who is Cindy for kiddos Tuesday is Carol Lovell my tooties one Wednesday is Tina Kappa Thursday Adriana Rodriguez crafty Adriana Friday, Gigi Owens, Agape for Gigi, and Saturday is Mickey Yo Milliard. <laughs> Vicki Milliard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Vicki. And we have a guest designer who is Alona DeGraff. And um, we're so happy everybody's doing such a wonderful job. I am watching the videos. Some people are going to be able to get things from me, um, comments, and others are not. I, I apologize for that. I'm trying hard to fix that also. I would like to thank Nurse Laurel for hosting this, and our prayers are still with you for your mother-in-law. And um, remember to subscribe, like, and comment on all of the design team members. And the different ones have different giveaways. Some, or some different designers have giveaways. I know Nurse Laurel does. And so you can go to any of their sites, and just about every one of them will tell you who's got what going on. I have a giveaway going on, so just watch and comment. And um, make sure that you give us all a thumbs up and um, be, become a subscriber. Okay. Um, when it comes to the gifts, some people, I know Nurse Laurel's giveaway is open for U.S. and international. Not all giveaways are, so you'll just have to go to the various ones and find out who's doing what. Okay, now for my um, project. This is a card that I have made that's going to act up because it's top heavy. And I have made, this is an easel card. And I have used the Quick Cuts nesting frame. I've used Colorbach Antique Papery Paper, Paper Mania by Lucy Cromwell. I've used the Stampin' Up Hardwell, Hardwood Background Stamp. And the Magnolia New Doohickey Volume 4 for the various die cuts. This little girl, I think it's Tilda with Lonely Heart, I think is what she's called, but I could not find her. And um, she's cute as a button. I love her so much. And she's holding a little heart that has like a bandage over it and a bow. And then all these die cuts I made. I stamped with different stamps from Stampin' Up. Um, there's three or four different stamps on this stamp, this stamp set right here. Or on this layer. And then there's several on this one. I've used the script stamp set. I've used the hardwood. I've used... Um, a couple of the background stamps from Stampin' Up. This is from the Advent Wishes from Stampin' Up, but everything else is Magnolia. So, um, when it comes to the stamps and dies, and um, I used Baja Breeze in the cup, the blue color, and I used vanilla, very vanilla, and crumb cake for the papers and I embossed this with white on black paper on the basic black paper and all of these little flowers I've made myself the roses all of these flowers I made except for this die here and of course the dies came within the volume 4 for the flowers except for the roses I used to punch for that so um, it opens like this so let me set this back here And then you can put your message here. You can put your message here. And then I have a piece of lace here. I might have to put a little more something substantial there to hold it. Let's see. Can you see? To hold it back. It seems to be doing okay, but 
the bottom is so top heavy it feels a little flimsy we'll see but um, that is it let's see if there's anything else I need to say I copic, I copic colored her and I put uh, the gray around her to make it look like she is um, you know got some depth to her and I used Tim Holtz I um, distressed things with the Tim Holtz distressing tool and I also used vintage photo and I went on everything. Everything there has vintage photo on it. Every every flower, every die cut, everything you see has vintage photo just on it. And then there's a little bit of white paint that I have used to um, dress, distress it just a little bit more. So there you go. This is my project number two for the mega for the Magnolia March event 2017. I hope you like it, and thank you all for such sweet comments before, and I will see you next week. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.